Cool. Thank you so much for inviting me out here, guys. Um, I'm going to try and speak slowly so you guys can follow along. Um, I get really excited when I talk quickly, so we'll try to be careful here. OK, so today I have a pretty ambitious mission. But I think by the end of it, it's not just going to seem ambitious, but totally within your reach. Because the goal that I want to teach you guys today is to reveal to you that all of you here are capable of changing the world by discovering your passion. And what I want to do today is give you some tips and tricks of how you can build a global network of like-minded people and friends that will help you go on this journey together and accomplish things that you never thought were possible before. Now, to make this seem a little bit more realistic, I want to give, introduce myself and maybe give some context. So I'm Dean Maisley. I'm an American. I came over here about a year ago to work on a blockchain startup with APG, a pension company here. But today I want to talk about my experience in college as I grew a, a global nonprofit uh, student organization with the intention of spreading blockchain enthusiasm as far as we could and bringing it into the real world. And to make this more understanding of how this applies to you guys right now is I use a strategy that is very within your reach by using the superpower that sits in all your pockets. And this strategy can be used no matter who you are, where you are, who you know or don't know, and we'll let you begin by just simply having a curiosity in something and letting that alone take you down an amazing path. So to really put this into some tangible understanding, let me tell you my story. So I grew up in a state called Wilmington, Delaware. From round of hands here, who here has ever heard of or could I confidently identify where Delaware is on this map? <laughs> cool. So none of you know where Delaware is. And actually, uh, I'm cheating a little bit because even if you go to the US, if you go to the West Coast, people also say Delaware and have confusion of where I had come from as well. But I'll give you guys a hint. I'm in this tiny little corner over there. But despite coming from this little piece of nowhere that no one's heard about and no one knew my name, I was able to grow and lead an organization that spread across the entire world, influencing people who were getting started in their community and wanting to make a difference. And together, all of us doing individual little things in our communities aggregate to a larger effect, a massive movement that we all get inspired by. So to give some examples, when we got started in, uh, about two years ago, as things started rolling on, we got some really cool opportunities. For example, some students in Columbia wanted some help saying, hey, we like this idea of blockchain too. How can we use this in our community? So we helped them get a venue started. We got, uh, they got over 200 kids to come to their place. And they got their community from no one knowing about this technology beforehand until all, all of a sudden having an immediate community of people engaging in startups, entrepreneurship, and sharing academic resources to dive into this concept that not too many people really understand yet today. In Italy, a bunch of people who were getting started meeting each other, going to meetups, getting drinks after school, end up growing into a large community that end up having huge influence on what was happening in their, all their cities in, in Italy. What they did is they end up even getting the attention of local government. So as the government started becoming, trying to make some regulations and rules to foster innovation in this technology, our Ben members in Italy were the first people they contacted for how to get a good understanding of where this technology could lead to and opportunities that were available. And we did this all over the world. We would often buy Airbnbs for a weekend next to blo uh, blockchain conferences. We'd get them free tickets, a place to sleep, and we'd say, hey, if you come down here, we'll make sure you can meet with all the other innovators and leaders who are setting up blockchain clubs at their university campuses across the world. And individually, these kids were just setting up clubs. They might have 10, 15 people joining, doing little lectures, discussing something they find passionate about. But when you realize that you're doing this together with kids across the world, it really makes you realize that you're part of something bigger and that the opportunity that you have to have impact is actually way more than you could have imagined. Now, that's my quick little story of using blockchain. I don't want to get too much into explaining what blockchain is because it's not really relevant to this talk. But what I do want to talk about is the philosophy we use to have all this impact. It's a strategy called SwarmWise. And SwarmWise is really interesting because it uses the same power that we use every day the, the, the power of interconnectedness with the internet, to let you talk with those other people who might have a similar interest, and together connect with them to do some incredible things. I didn't come up with this strategy. It was actually, start, and it is not only applicable to blockchain. It actually started with a, uh, a Swedish person called Rick Falkvinja, who started the Swedish Pirate Party. They began with the idea of, we believe in internet rights, and we want to make sure that's represented in government. 
And so they use this strategy as well to actually put a local representative in their government to start influencing a topic they deeply cared about. I use it for blockchain, but you guys can also use the same strategy for any passion that you might be having or wishing to develop. So before I get into describing exactly what this is, to understand what I mean by interconnectedness, it really helps to realize and take a step back and realize that we live in, like, in a world of absolute magic. With the push of a button on our phones, we can rearrange the physical world around us. An Uber might come up to pick us up and deliver us from point A to point B. We can walk around cities and rent people's apartments on Airbnb to have a native experience. We personally, our generation, don't understand boundaries or borders the way previous generations did. If we have friends that are traveling around, we always expect that at any moment we can have a face-to-face -face conversation with them over FaceTime. Or maybe we don't even need to because we've been watching their Snapchat stories anyways and see exactly what they're up to. This is something I think our generation takes for granted. But once you realize how interconnected we are and the ability that we can have to communicate with people across the world that we would never otherwise run into, you can harness that superpower to pull off some incredible movements and incredible things in the real world that might seem unaccomplishable by you alone. So, there's three steps here that now we can use to start putting your passion into place. The idea is, one, you want to discover your passion. You want to look into the world and see things that you might find interesting. You don't have to have the answers. You don't even know how to necessarily get started. But there's things out there going on, whether it's in blockchain, or uh, AI, or IoT, or in healthcare and medical situations. There's a lot of political movements going on in the world right now, which is very important that people our age are having an impact and a voice in these matters. Discovering that passion is your first step for knowing how you can set off on this adventure. Following that, the next step is to find other people who think the same way. You probably aren't the only person who are passionate about this thing that you want to do. There's other people around you. Now, once you get a bunch of locals around your community and you're able to have face-to-face -face conversations with people, you're now beginning to create your core, your, your, your core ability to learn more information, learn of new opportunities, have back-to-back -back conversations with people, and from that you can begin to affect your local community. Because when you have a lot of people thinking about the same thing and having a lot of ambition and energy, you can do some uh, really impressive things that you, in your community that and bring it into the real life. And then, the fun part comes in, is when you take your local community and you begin to go out into the world. And you begin meeting people even in other communities and see how they implemented your passion in their community. And then that's where it gets fun. But let's, let's dive into this. So, as I already said, there's a lot of things going on in this world. And you guys are all young enough today where you can get started on anything that you might think is too complicated. And there's resources to get started from zero. Every role model that you might have, or every accomplished figure that you look up to, began from somewhere. And today with the internet, if you are passionate about any of these technologies, or movements, or different initiatives, it's actually pretty easy if you put the time into it to simply start Googling, finding people who are trying to explain it to those for the first time, and from there you can begin to learn the resources and vocabulary that you need to start exploring. But you don't need to feel intimidated that this is a topic that's outside of your reach. You simply just need to be curious and enough to start looking into it. Because the next step is when you want to use this curiosity and start talking about it with other people. Now, the easiest way, obviously, is if you can go onto meetup.com, type in your thing, in my example, blockchain, and you would find other people around you already doing something similar. But if you don't, that's not the worst part. You can also be the first person to put a flag in the ground and be the first person to get other people to start coming to you. And even if it might seem a little bit intimidating, you might be the only weirdo who's interested in your weird passion, but you'll be surprised how many people come out of the woodworks and come out and join you and didn't know that they are also people that were interested in the same thing. And once you get those core people, even if it's just three to five people, that creates the foundation for others to start coming in and for you guys to start planning really cool initiatives in your hometown. For example, with our blockchain clubs, we would encourage kids to simply have lectures to get people educated about how the technology works. And then they would do fun things like getting people on their campus to start accepting it as a payment or encouraging local startups to use it as a technology. And in doing so, they created a, a foundation of innovation that then anyone across the world can come to and participate in if they're also into blockchain. And then that's where this third part comes in. Once you begin creating your local community, Again, it could be as small as five or 10 people. 
you can use that to start looking at to other groups and seeing how other people across the world are making meetup groups, how they're hosting initiatives, how they're having success in their local hometowns. And it's very easy to actually reach out to these people and say, hey, I'm doing something here in Sittard. Uh, I'm also in this passion too, and I would like to start making impact. Do you have any tips? And you'd be surprised at how energetic people can be when they start talking about their passions. Even if you're coming with not much to give, everyone wants to help others do the same thing that they're working on together. Now, I have a little bit more uh, examples of connecting abroad because um, initially sending emails is fun, but the, the real fun part is thinking of really collaborative ways that you can interact with these different groups. So with my organization, the Blockchain Education Network, we did really fun initiatives where we would get kids across the world to do these really bizarre but crazy cool things. So for example, in the beginning of the school year, we thought the best way to get kids to learn about blockchain and Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies is to literally just give it to them. We could have someone sit on stage and give a 10-minute lecture about uh, uh, blockchains and, and immutability and decentralization, but those are buzzwords. What really matters is having it in your hand to actually use it and see how it works. So what we did is we encouraged, we raised a bunch of money and we said to anyone in the world, if you want to host an airdrop, meaning if you want to give Bitcoin away to new students joining your club, we'll pay for it. Simply make sure you record it and take pictures so that we can all see what's going on and that's all you need to do. And the reaction we got was incredible. As you can see here, we have students from Georgia Tech who did a scavenger hunt where they hid Bitcoin all across their campus. And when people took a picture with this thing and put it on the Facebook, they would get some free Bitcoin. But it wasn't just in Georgia Tech. We also had kids in Florida, New York City, MIT, Ottawa, um, all over the rest of Canada. We had people in Italy hosting airdrops. And together, you were individual kids maybe encouraging five or 10 more people to join your local club. You may not think it's making a huge impact, but when you're seeing this happening across the world at the same time, you begin to feel like you're part of a big movement. And so that's an easy way that we gave uh, to highlight all these different cool initiatives going on across the world and shine a spotlight on these local meetups that may seem small on their own, but big in uh, the big picture. Another fun thing is we hosted an event where we uh, wanted to test which blockchain club had the most knowledge, who was the best at blockchain. That's a bit of a hard title to really talk about or really to convey or to show the world of what exists. And so we came up with a fun game where we had live Jeopardy. We had kids uh, across the world compete head-to-head, face-to-face, over live stream Google Hangouts, so the whole world could watch these kids go at it with blockchain. So I gave a quick little video. Uh, I don't know how to play it. So hey everyone, we're the Blockchain Education Network. We're here for the finals of Blockchain Madness 2016. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Hey! Microsoft announced they were starting to accept Bitcoin. 2014 from Laurier, and the correct answer is... 2015 for the win! Yeah, literally, I wrote a Medium article about this right before we started this. Excuse my language. <laughs> Coin ATM. Show us your answers. Mike Tyson! Uh, no. with the win! For the yeah! Now, how much you spent? So what you just saw was just some kids sitting behind their computers doing a funny Jeopardy game that we set up. And individually, that's not that big of a deal. But what we're doing here is trying to show and connect people across the world who are doing the same thing. So that now when these kids from Canada ever come by uh, uh, in Berkeley and California, they can interact with those kids directly and have an experience together that they can use to build from. And actually, that's what actually what happened. These kids are, end up, in following months, end up working on educational projects together, sharing tips and tricks from the local communities, and really interconnecting their efforts together to make it even bigger than they would have imagined. So that's basically the impetus I wanted to give you guys, because I really want to show you that it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, who you know or, or what you might be able to accomplish or what you think you can, when you group up together with people who are doing the same thing, and you set out on a mission with just some curiosity and ambition to bring it into the real world, as a way for you to also learn about it yourself, the accomplishments you guys can pull off when together is greater than perhaps any of your role models have been able to do beforehand. And when all of us together are going out, discovering our passion, finding others around us who are interested in the same things, and trying to use that to connect with people across the world, you're building a network of opportunities, and resources and people that you can pull on when you're trying to do something that may seem larger than life. 
And when we're all doing this together and each pursuing the thing that makes us most happy and the way that we think we can impact the world the most, we end up creating utopia for the rest of us. And that's what I would like to impact on you guys because I want to inspire you guys to go out and find your passions and make the cool things so that I can enjoy it too. Cool. Thank you guys.